thanks to Helix for sponsoring today's ASMR video. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs, and boy oh boy do they have some cozy options. Now, you may have heard about Helix mattresses from a few other ASMR creators that you know and love, but did you know they also have great bedding and sleep accessories too? I am so, so excited to be trying out Helix's weighted blanket, sheets, and wedge pillow, all which are just as comfy and cozy as they look like. Seriously, just wait until you see this weighted blanket. When I tell you, I almost immediately relaxed after getting under the weighted blanket and propped myself up with the wedge pillow. I am not lying. <laughs> For real. It felt like putting on one of my favorite ASMR videos, but for my body. <laughs> because I had recently gotten a new mattress, I didn't really want to replace it quite yet, but I still wanted to try out Helix's other products, and the three you see in the video have been the perfect addition to my bedroom. The ultra soft sheets in Slate are, well, ultra soft, like actually, they are just the right amount of warm and cool at the same time. They do not make you sweat, but they keep you cozy, and I love that. The wedge pillow helps my back so much when I want to be propped up to play my switchers and watch something before bed without having to push a you know, normal pillow up against the bed, and it kind of sinks below. It's, this is a really good alternative. And weighted blanket feels like a teddy bear. It's, it's so soft <laughs> and it feels like, yeah, like a little weighted hug. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's honestly the perfect way to make you feel really safe and comfortable when you're going to bed. So if you're interested in upgrading your bed but don't necessarily want a whole new mattress, Helix has a lot of other great sleep products that are worth checking out. That being said, if you are in the market for a new mattress and are ready to find something new, the Helix mattress is a great option. Helix is all about helping you sleep better, and that starts with finding the perfect mattress, pillows, and bedding that are right for you. The best part about it all is that Helix delivers right to your door for free. Yeah, for free in the US. It comes rolled up in the box and it's really super easy to set up for yourself. Um, and you know, I know for some of us it's really nerve wracking to buy something online before you try it, but Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. So if you want to upgrade your pet experience too, you can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash slight sounds and get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. Thanks again to Helix and let's get into the video. Hello. Welcome in. You have an appointment today. Okay. What was the name? How, uh, how do you spell the last name? Confirm your date of birth, please. And it looks like you are early to your appointment, so thank you for doing that. Um, you are here today for the um, thorough examination, the thorough face examination, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, great. 
you can just have a seat right where you are, and I will make sure that I have all the things that I need for the examination, okay? Okay. some hand sanitizer. Uh, since I'm going to be touching your face, obviously, um, I would use gloves, but uh, it makes the process a little easier if I don't use gloves. Is that okay with you? I also washed my hands before this, but we use hand sanitizer before every patient. Okay. Do you want any? kind of gently brushing over the skin. so I can focus, okay? But don't feel weird about that. It's not because something's wrong. It's just because that is the nature of this examination, okay? Um, the next 
thing we do after we just give a general, um, you know, overview of the face is measuring. Um, the measuring is not for what is right or wrong. Um, it doesn't tell us anything specific about you or who you are, what your health is. It is merely a, um, uh, there's a couple of equations that we do that tie in with the rest of it, but you can't fail. There's nothing wrong or different about you if you're, you know, one eye is three centimeters and the other one's 3.2, you know what I'm saying? So don't get caught up in numbers, it's just a, a part of the experience, okay? Um, it is this little ruler and tape measure, that is. And I'll probably be counting to myself. And, uh, yeah. Does everything sound okay with that? Okay, good. <sighs> All right. smile for me.
just anything. Okay. So. This one's always tricky for me. Okay. We got it. Good, this good. This good. Okay. Great. That is the measuring portion of this examination. that okay how is that
also have to do the lips. Even though it might be a little ticklish, but that should feel the same on both sides, right? Okay. And what about under the nose? How does under the nose feel? Okay, good. Let me make sure. I want to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Did I miss any? Um, oh, I kind of forgot this cheek over here. This cheek. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, great. So for the next portion of this exam, uh, it will be the opposite of the soft that we just did. So it'll be the hard or sharp uh, object that we will be pressing on different points of your face, okay? This is what it looks like. It is uh, not sharp at all, but it does have an edge, so you'll definitely be able to feel it, okay? And we'll just be pressing different points of your face, okay? Making sure you can feel it. Um, but I will be disinfecting this, um, just to make sure everything is clean, okay? I just have an alcohol pad here. need to wipe it off. Okay. So, now that it's all clean and ready, uh, do you have any questions about this portion? Okay, great. Um, again, I'm not going to ask you to respond every time I touch your face in different points, uh, but please do let me know if there is some pain, discomfort, or it feels different. Okay. under chin feel okay? I don't know, we've been getting a few people with like issues down here. It might be tied to uh, gum or tooth issues, so we just want to double check. Okay. Good. Gently. Okay. I'm just gonna get up close over here. your eyes. 
this, I'm going to very, very gently touch your eyelids, okay? Okay. Great. And then your lips. so far, right? That's what we like to hear, okay? Um, so the next thing we'll be using is this little light. It's not very bright, but it's because um, most of the lights we see nowadays are very blinding and it hurts people's eyes, so we're trying to make it a little more casual so you can kind of see it, but it's not too blinding. Um, so there will be two parts to this uh, light experience. The first part that we'll, we will be doing is a, a quick little eye exam, okay? Um, we notice that it's easy to just do a quick um, check of the eyes while doing an examination of the face, um, and it, uh, it helps just make sure everything's okay. So we'll be doing a quick little shortened version of an eye, an eye exam. Um, and then the second thing we'll be doing with this light is just kind of running it over the skin and um, seeing if the light illuminates anything, okay? Yeah, it can show beginning signs of, you know, uh, you know, a, a mole that might, might be forming, uh, whether that's good or bad, um, or just any other sort of thing that's on your face. So, uh, does that sound okay, those two things? Okay. So we're going to start with the eye exam uh, first. Of course, I'm just going to look at your eyes with this light, okay? All you have to do is just look forward and uh, don't close your eyes, okay? You can blink, just don't close your eyes. Okay. gently pull down on your, uh, your eyes, and can you look up for me? Okay. Okay, and then the opposite. I'm going to be pulling up a little bit, and you can look down, okay? side. Yep. All right, keep looking. 
Looking straight ahead. Just keep looking forward, okay? You don't have to do anything. Good. Okay, great. second. And I'm going to be holding up these fingers, okay, on either side. And all I need you to do is tell me which side is moving, okay? No pressure, just look straight ahead, okay? Good. 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 Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Great. Your eyes look absolutely immaculate. Nothing else I could uh, say about that. <laughs> Literally no concerns, so you're doing great. Uh, so again, the second part of this light examination uh, is just a general sweep of your skin, okay? So I'll just be scanning. I'll probably be gently touching and pulling your skin, but nothing too intense, okay? Uh, I will let you know, of course, if I see anything, but I don't think you have anything to be worried about. Uh, one thing I do have to ask, do you wear sunscreen on your face anytime you go outside? Okay, well, you need to start doing it. I know you've probably heard this a thousand times, um, from various people, but it seriously is so, so important to do, specifically, I mean, your whole body, but your face is very sensitive, so, um, find a good sunscreen that works, um, if you wear makeup, you know, make sure you're applying some sort of SPF, uh, whatever that means to you, okay? Okay, great. Um, anyway, just remember that. <laughs> so, you can close your eyes, you can keep them open, whatever makes you feel most comfortable, okay? I'll get started, uh, if you're ready. Okay. Just going to scan over parts of your skin. Just going
something I thought I saw right over here, so I'm just going to do a couple more passes. It does look like you have a little bit of a mole or freckle coming up right over here, okay? Um, it, my personal opinion, it does not look like something we need to be worried about, but obviously we can mark that down and keep an eye on it just in case, but, um, from what I see, you should be okay. But other than that one little spot, uh, you look absolutely amazing for, you know, not wearing sunscreen every day. You look amazing. So the final part of this isn't really an examination portion, but it is how we wrap up the appointment, um, because I've been, you know, touching and examining and poking and prodding. A lot of people start to produce oils on their face. Uh, if someone's obviously touching your face a lot, you'll probably get a little oily. So we do have some translucent powder that we will brush over your face and a little bit your neck, okay? And this will just make your skin calm down a little bit. And it's also just kind of a relaxing way to end the examination in case you are at all stressed about it, okay? Does that sound okay? Great. One second, I need to get the brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some powder. Tap it off. And I'm just going to brush your entire face, okay? I like to do it slowly just to make sure I get every part covered, okay? So, I might do a couple passes with this powder just to make sure we got everything okay. You had a fuzz, sorry. Sorry, I'm not talking. Everything's fine. I just want you to relax and enjoy this part, okay? Nothing to stress about. Just relaxing. Under your chin a little bit. Okay. Especially on the cheeks is where I personally get oily. Cheeks and the T zone, as they call it. The cheeks and the forehead area. Okay, well, you look absolutely perfect besides that one little freckle mole that we were um, taking a look at. Everything looked great. 
Um, have you been coming in yearly? Okay, great. You should definitely keep coming in yearly. I know it seems excessive, uh, but having your face examined uh, and just making sure everything is good is really important and it keeps, you know, us for, from, or keeps us making sure we can catch something early if we find it, okay? Um, if you do end up having a um, cranial nerve exam, let us know because we may then push back our uh, appointment to a later date because there are quite a few similarities between uh, this kind of face exam and a cranial nerve exam. Uh, obviously, there's overlap. Not everything is the same, but we do understand that the overlap may be a little excessive, so, okay, um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, or need any sort of follow-up, please, uh, call or email whenever you feel like it, okay? Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you, hopefully, in about a year.